Hi, I'm Jane here at the AWS offices in beautiful downtown Seattle. Today, I'll show you how to configure your Amazon RDS database instance for high availability. Amazon Relational Database Service, or RDS, is a managed database service that handles time-consuming database administration tasks, freeing you to focus on your applications and business. It provides you with seven familiar database engines to choose from. The AWS cloud infrastructure is built around geographical regions, where each region contains multiple availability zones, known as AZs. When you create your Amazon RDS database instance, you choose whether to run it in a single AZ or multiple AZ configuration. Let's say we already created our Amazon RDS database instance in a single AZ configuration. Modifying it for multi-AZ is pretty easy. First, we'll log into the AWS console and navigate to Amazon RDS. We see a list of database instances that indicates whether each one is configured for single AZ or multi-AZ. Let's say the MySQL prod instance of RDS for MySQL is moving into production, and we'd like to configure it for high availability. We can see it has a single AZ configuration, and we also see which AZ it's running in. Now we'll modify these instance settings. We'll select multi-AZ configuration. We can choose to apply the change immediately or wait until our specified weekly maintenance window. While our database instance will be fully available during the modification, we recommend that you apply your changes during a time with less database traffic, since there will be an increase in latency while the secondary database catches up. We've configured our database instance for multi-AZ configuration. Amazon RDS is synchronously replicating all changes to the secondary database in the other availability zone. To test the behavior of the new configuration, we can select the instance and choose Reboot with Failover. This will cause the secondary instance to become the new primary. The time it takes for the failover to complete depends on the amount of database activity at the time of failover, but it's typically between 60 and 120 seconds. We've seen how easy it is to configure an Amazon RDS database instance for high availability and multiple availability zones. If you have any additional questions, check out the link at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.